Hello, in this lecture we will define liquidity according to Fundamental Accounting Principles while wow, 22nd edition the definition of liquidity is availability of resources to meet short-term cash requirements. Let's drill down on this term cash requirements. What we're looking to in terms of cash is to pay off for the short term needs of the organization. What are we going to need to keep the organization running in the next time period, the next week, month and year? And what do we need in order to pay off our current obligations, the debt that we owe in terms of possibly accounts payable and in terms of loans payable? That's going to be the idea of liquidity. Do we have liquid enough assets and enough assets in order to pay for those types of obligations? A couple calculations that would be used in order to measure liquidity are the current ratio. That would be comparing the current assets to the current liabilities. Current liabilities are what we're going to owe within a year. That's an arbitrary uh, time frame, a year, but it's a good time frame. That's a bit, relatively short time frame as compared to current assets, those being more liquid assets assets that are more readily closer to cash or assets that will be used or consumed in a relatively short period of time. So what we're saying here is how many times can we pay off the liability with our current assets that will give us a measure of our liquidity. Can we pay off our current debts, the ones due within a year, with just our current assets? Another more stringent type of ratio that can be used for the measure of liquidity would be the quick ratio, which would be the quick assets divided by those same current liabilities. So the question here, of course, is what's the difference between quick assets and current assets? Current assets are usually gonna be listed right on the balance sheet. You'll see them, there's the current assets of pro as opposed to the property, plants, and equipment, the more long-term assets. We can't usually pay off our current liabilities with properly, property, plant, and equipment. But the quick assets are even gonna be more stringent. We're not gonna have a subtotal on the balance sheet of quick assets but what we're really saying is it's, it's going to be the current assets and we're going to take a few things out including uh, the inventory so generally inventory is something included in current assets we're going to go ahead and take that out of quick assets and say hey what if we didn't even sell any of the inventory on the books as an asset then let's take a, a look at our current liabilities liabilities due within a year and divide that uh, divide quick assets by that or divide current liabilities into uh, the quick assets and see how many times over we can pay the current liabilities with only those quick assets, those very liquid assets.